Hi and welcome to my tutorial about the EOS 300, a single lens reflex camera from Canon for the analog film. Maybe you found um, an EOS 300 at home and don't know how to use it. I'll show you. I mounted a 35 to 135 millimeters lens, which was not very common at this time. It's an ultrasonic lens. Um, the lens was um, almost um, more expensive than the body of the camera. This is just here to show you some functions. It was a quite small camera, as you can see with my hands, there is enough space here. There was of course available a um, battery pack, which could be mounted underneath the camera. We take a look at the um, user interface, I would say, with here the on the left side, the typical wheel uh, for menu items um, of the camera and on the right side the display with the different function keys here. This is the shutter and release button. Um, we take a look at the wheel it begins with the L setting. L means low battery consumption so the camera is switched out. The green window gives us the opportunity to make a photo without thinking about certain values. The camera tries to fully automatic maintain um, the best values for the photography um, without thinking about anything as I already mentioned. Um, this is the program for the beginner. If you want to make good photos without thinking about those values lightening here in the display, um, that would be the best choice. This is for almost all situation um, helpful. We have more points which were called motive programs. This one is the uh, shows a face, the first one, uh, which is the portrait program. Then we have a landscape program, the second and the flower is for the macro photography from uh, objects nearby. And the uh, fourth of those is a running man on the um, pictogram, uh, which is for fast moving objects, uh, sports photography or race cars or whatever and photographing against the light is the last but not least program. On the other side of the wheel we have the P program which is the program automatic. We have TV which stands for the aperture automatic. The camera or you uh, have decided which time you want the exposure to last. And the camera decides which aperture is therefore the best choice. The other way around, the AV automatic, you give the time and the camera gives the aperture. Then we have the manual program, which is um, the fully manual operating of the camera, which can of course lead to um, mm, mis-exposures of the photo. So you have to know what you're doing um, if you use the M program. So you can of course get bad pictures. The A depth um, program um, gives you the possibility to get an object sharp from one end to the other. So you point at the first uh, or the nearer um, part of the object, press the shutter button and keep it pressed um, and when you keep it pressed and then go to the next object the camera tries to figure out which um, setting with the autofocus uh, gives the best uh, sharpness about the object. Last but not least the ISO setting is something you uh, wouldn't perhaps change. It's only for the expert photographer. The ISO setting of the film is coded on the film. The camera has some sensors. I will show them to you, um, which gives the camera the possibility to get the information about the film. So if you want that to change that manually, 
um, this is the point here on this menu. You can set the ISO worth. This is something very special I wouldn't recommend. Um, mostly the information from the camera is picked up absolutely correct. We uh, get here to the program, take a look at the flash. Maybe when I try to... Ah, uh, it's, it's enough light. Uh, if the light is not, we go to the, the green program, maybe, yes, you see, the camera thinks now it's too dark he in here, we need the flash, and if you keep it pressed here, uh, the camera enlightens the surrounding with this small helping light. This is just to um, enable the camera to get the right autofocus information. So um, the camera decided, okay, it's better to have the flash. We'll take a look at the flash. The flash is very small. It comes up automatically. Of course, you have to press it down against uh, some, um, some pressure. And um, it has a small button on here um, to switch the flash on or off which uh, de helps the camera to decide if you personally want to get the flash otherwise it tries to find a program or a setting without using the flash which is maybe uh, quite helpful if you want to um, try to photograph through a glass window or something like that where the flash only would give reflections on the picture which you don't want of course, this has uh, the possibility to get an external flash here above, like with all the cameras. The wheel here is for changing the values. If you, for example, here to get the time value changed. The function keys allow you to get the settings here, change the settings. We have the red eye reduction, which is at the moment set we have um, the um, remote control. Um, we have the different modes uh, about photographing once or photographing twice or three times by pressing the button. So you have the, the single shot or um, the possibility to get more pictures with one pressing, uh, pressing through of the release button. Um, this one here is for the self timer and this one uh, helps you decide which of those uh, points um, in the autofocus, uh, autofocus measurement is uh, prior or. So you can use it uh, for example if you want uh, something on the left side of your picture sharp um, you would just set it to the left points so the cameras, uh, and camera knows um, you want to get um, the left part of the picture sharp. We will take a look inside again. Just I already showed you the measure points for the ISO. We take a look at the curtain shutter. Try to get it released. I don't know whether whether he can focus it at this light. So you can see the shutter. Shutter goes up and down again. Um, if you get to we get to a longer time, maybe um, th the half of a second, just to focus, and then we could see the aperture was quite close at this moment. Maybe you've seen it. The film comes in here. Is laid over to here um, to the red mark. The red mark is um, important. If the film is set to this mark, the camera is uh, um, it's for the camera possible to get it um, uh, into the drive in. Um, we have here the back, which is made from um, plastic, of course, with the better models. This one is from uh, stainless steel parts. Um, we have here a window to 
to recognize which film is in. We get the lens off just to show you the mounting. Um, you have the red point, the red dot, which fits to the other red dot inside. And you turn it one third to the right as you look in front of the camera. Um, you have the points here. You see this is made from plastic, which was which showed this is EOS was a cheaper uh, amateur uh, model um, camera model. This uh, lens, of course, was uh, a very um, was a high end lens. Uh, here everything is made with stainless steel. Um, but of course, all EF lenses fit to EF bodies. Um, this is the release button here. We take a look under the camera. We have here the mounting for the tripod. And we have in here the batteries under this small flap. Uh, of course, there are many different wonderful manufacturers for batteries. This is a, a CR2 battery or two CR2 batteries which fit in here. Um, small lithium batteries. Um, here we have a, a connector for a um, remote control with a uh, cable remote control. You can take this out and uh, get this small thing in again. And on the other hand, on the other side, we have the release for opening the um, back. And this is a small button for uh, pulling the film back um, to get it out manually without uh, having uh, to, uh, to make photos um, with all the capacity of the film. Um, these buttons, uh, help you to select which measure point is the right for you. So the EOS 300 is a small, very small compact camera, but is capable of almost every function a analog single re uh, reflex lens camera um, is capable. You can fully manually um, decide which values you want to have. You can add a external and the external flash. You can add all EF lenses. So this is uh, if you want to start with uh, photographing analog or you found somewhere at home from your parents or whatever um, such a camera. Um, you can have a lot of fun with that camera. Uh, also with other lenses of course. Um, this is, might, is quite small, compact, lightweight. Um, and a good uh, stepping into photographing with analog film. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and uh, I would uh, love if you uh, take a look at my other videos and maybe leave a comment. Thank you. Bye.